Now, I was, I was looking at some other Instagram photos, and it looks like you have a, a football field in your backyard. Yeah. I thought my house was big, but, but clearly, compared to your house, it ain't shit. You got a football <laughs> field, I got a uh, Olympic size volleyball beach. I got a uh, full court basketball goal, Olympic size pool, zip line. Uh, slip and slides, uh, McDonald's play area, uh, you know, the things that they have at McDonald's and shit. Uh, right. I'm building a treehouse mansion right now, so. I mean, how mad do your kids get when they have to go back home to, to their mom's house after? <laughs> 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 yeah, they be, they be, they be mad, but they don't, they don't be want to go back. I wouldn't want to go back neither. That's why I do it like that, yeah? I hope they just say, mama. <laughs> We won't stay with Dad, and we ain't going back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, I, I think it's really dope too that it seemed like you really designed the house for your children as opposed to just for yourself. Yeah, when I when there's something happened to me these days, you know what I'm saying? I I do this for my this for my kids. I've been living, but this for all this shit I do for this I stay all this for my kids. You know, so even for their mind thinking. You know, my kids grow up, grow up like this. You think they're gonna live in a fucking shotgun house? You think they're gonna live in a three-bedroom uh, three economic house with uh, a five to nine job? Fuck no. That's poverty. So that's how I'm, that's how I'm gonna raise my kids. They ain't, they ain't gonna want no little shit. They ain't gonna want, they ain't gonna want no $10,000. They, they gonna want a million. Right. And if they see this as kids, what they gonna want? If a kid come up, Seeing motherfucking what they gonna want. They gonna want the better shit. Right, because I think so much of, of success is being able to see somebody that you know that you could actually touch do what it is that you plan on doing. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people, you know, because I, I have a I have a you know a page called Vlad Stocks where I talk about stock investing and everything else like that. And and I see so many people say, well. I only thought that only rich, old, rich white people, could, you know, could afford to invest in stocks because they probably don't have anyone around them that's actually invested in stocks. You see what I'm saying? Right. When you see people that are doing, you know, the shit that you want to be done, you like, oh yeah, I could, I could do that because, because Boosie did it. Okay, and here I am in this house. Well, if he could do it by rapping, I could rap or I could do something kind of like that and I could accomplish this. It's not just a fucking dream and it's not some shit where like, well, you know, Boosie only got this cause, cause his daddy was rich. Right. You know, Boosie right. Only, B B you know, Boosie got this cause, you know, he went and stole from a bunch of people and I'm not trying right. to do that. No, no, Boosie got this shit by, by working hard, you know, by, you know, by perfecting his craft, by being smart with his money and that's something that every person in America could achieve. Right, right, right. Like, everybody had to watch somebody. You know, I watch I, all, all the people, all the, all the A-listers, the Diddy's and 50's, I watch these niggas. You know what I'm saying? I watch these niggas hustle. And all I do is say, shit, if I got a quarter, if I got a quarter of they fans, I can do my own motherfucking thing. If, if I got a, if I got a call, if I got 25% of they fan, why I can't do what they do? Why I can't have liquor? Why I can't have cologne? Why I can't have, you know, chips, whatever I have? So you gotta base your hustle off somebody who up there. If a nigga say they just base they hustle off they self, they a motherfucking lie. <laughs> everybody, everybody got motivation. You got your motivation from somebody. I don't give a fuck who they is. Right. Straight up. Right. Nigga, you lying. Right. I mean. I mean, and this is why, like, you know, people, people could criticize Obama and say, oh, well, he wasn't really the first black president. And he, he didn't, you know, he was this and that. Who was? But you can't, right. Who was can't the first deny. black president? <laughs> exactly. Obama, right? Exactly. Right. But you can't deny that billions of black kids around the world saw this and said, I could be president of the United States. For it's real. actually achievable. For real, it's dog. actually achievable. I agree with you on that, Vlad, because when I was in school, motherfucker was standing up saying they won't be the president, not the black person. Right. 
They were just saying right. they won't be Georgia or somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Obama gave hope to a lot of black black people. I agree. I agree. Because I'll, I'll be honest. I'll be dead honest. You know, I mean, I'm in my 40s. I did not think I would see a black president in my lifetime. Me neither. Me neither. Yeah. I ain't lying. I, I, I never thought of that. I never thought I'd right. see. I'm in my 30s. I never thought I'd see a black president ever. I ain't going to lie. And I, you know, I, I supported right. this shit. I, I was all in jail talking shit. Like I knew about the Congress. I ain't know the shit about it. I just be watching CNN and talking shit. You know what I'm saying? He motivated me. I ain't lying. Obama did this shit. Just the taxes were too damn high. Yeah. Yeah, Trump Trump is lowering taxes. We, we see a little bit more money. But we'll, I we'll sure appreciate it. Long term. I appreciate that shit. <laughs> I appreciate it too. Well, I, I don't like the other shit he's doing, but I appreciate the taxes. <laughs>